Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, March 20th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I take responsible action. And let me be the first to welcome you to Aries. Uh, as of this evening, 8.49 p.m. Pacific time, so about an hour and a half out from where I'm recording this, we are shifting into Aries. Now, the state of the world right now is pretty interesting, considering we're moving into a sign of action. And so when I was like feeling into this, I was like, I kept getting energy mantra, taking responsible action, being actionable, but very, very purposeful. No brashness, no rashness. <laughs> Let's hope. Um, and I thought about it, and it makes sense. As we move into this astrological new year, um, as we move into Aries energy, Mars, the ruler of Aries, is in Capricorn. In fact, today, for this astro, we have Mars conjunct Jupiter. That's actually a pretty auspicious way, <laughs> I think, to start this new year. And yet, look at these cir circumstances. But this, to me, reminds me of what I keep bringing through in the astro week after week or day after day, what is this new world that we're building? We really want to be utilizing our awareness, utilizing highest wisdom, thinking of others. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the screams. There are screams out there. Uh, thinking about others um, as we're building this new world energy. Now, the other thing that came through really strongly, Aries is the sign of the warrior. And the phrase, a warrior, oh gosh, now I lost it. <laughs> Basically. The definition of a warrior? No. But you can give me the definition of a warrior, but speak up. It's um, not the absence of fear, but going and doing something brave despite the fear. Awesome. Well, I love that. Doing something brave despite the fear, which we're being called to be brave, even if we're not walking into battle at this time. Being brave enough to honor what's going on. But basically what I was thinking about warrior energy is that there's sneeze coming. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> um, a warrior doesn't go into battle thinking of himself necessarily. There's usually a greater cause. And we really do want to step into that level of warrior, not self-centered, which Aries can get very self-centered. Aries can get caught up in ego. Mars energy is very connected to the root chakra. And so just like Scorpio, we can kind of get into survival mode. But we're Chiron's moving through the sign of Aries. We're being asked to level up. We're being asked to heal these levels. And so while we must heal ourselves, heal our I am, there is a greater <laughs> community that we're also thinking of. Now this also goes hand in hand with the fact that this is the last day of Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn will be moving into Aquarius for several months tomorrow. And Aquarius definitely has the greater vision of community and even utopia. So just keep these things in mind because these are all going to be bouncing around <laughs> during this Aries time. I think my biggest concern for Aries is it is fire energy. It wants to create. It wants to take action. I dare to say that Aries is potentially the most impatient sign of the zodiac. And so with <laughs> Ding. <laughs> with sun in Aries, we're all going to be facing our impatience. So on whatever level you are at right now in quarantine or, you know, staying away to potentially help sp stop spreading this or whatever that is, watch for your impatience. Watch for any spikes in anger, frustration. I guarantee we are all going to feel quite a bit of frustration over this next month, but that frustration can be channeled into passion if we can try to be purposefully and actionably responsible, responsible building this new world, 
How are you being called into that? How are you being called to step into the role of the helper? How are you being called deeper into your personal truth, your I am energy in all this? Because this is definitely going to be up for this next month. Now, the other thing that I mentioned, we've got some major Capricorn. Last day, Saturn, 29 degrees Capricorn. Now, like I said, it will retrograde back in, but that lesson of what is this foundation you're building? What is your purpose? As we're having these major shifts, how are you being called deeper into that purpose? That's up right now. <laughs> There's some rowdy children that you may be healing, hearing in the background. Um, so keep that in mind. And tomorrow we're going to dig deep into Saturn moving into Aquarius. And the other thing, like I said, that we have going on today is that Jupiter-Mars conjunction. Jupiter, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I think it all bears repeating. Jupiter, higher learning. Jupiter is a teacher at heart. And it's trying to teach us like from a... Jeez Louise. <laughs> from um, a philosophical point of view, how we can better ourselves, how we can, by bettering ourselves, better society, how we can step into our purpose with that. And with Mars energy conjunct that, it's like, what is the action? But it's a master level degree. So this really is an internal foundational process, more so than getting out there and taking action. And like I said, the best action right now may be <clears throat> doing no harm in surprising ways, <laughs> surprising in different ways than we've ever faced before. So be very aware of that. The final things that I want to look at today, um, Moon in Aquarius. Moon in Aquarius squaring Uranus. Um, oh no, that was that was Thursday. Sorry. Moon in Aquarius squaring Venus. That is today. Oh, my feeling is, is that what feels better for the world right now, what feels best for harmony right now, may not bring you what you think is your highest pleasure. It is not necessarily fun to be under quarantine and yet, how can you find pleasure in it? How can you make the best of it? So, that being said, let's look at these cards. We are in the midst of deep transformation. Heck yeah. <laughs> and it's a moment-to-moment -moment thing. What is right right now may not be what is right tomorrow or next week. So keep in mind your action. It is a very moment-to-moment -moment thing. I also have the Hermit card. <laughs> To me, this is like Jupiter, though. It's like higher learning, tapping into that, tapping into your light, tapping into your highest self. How are you being called to be responsibly actionable at this time? Beyond that, I got projections in reverse and I got silence in reverse, which is the star card. I'm going to talk about this first. Saturn, 29 degrees, Capricorn. It's not about everybody else's projections and what you should do. Sun and Aries, it's not about anybody else's I am's. This is about tapping into yourself. What you need to be aware of is that Aries ego energy that may talk you out of your higher self. So be aware of that projection just as well as projections from outside. The star card in reverse. Here's what I get with this is, you know, the star card is a card of the bright future. Right now, kind of murky, right? It's like, what's going to happen? We're not there yet. It's moment to moment. But don't let the fact that you can't see how this is going to turn out deter you from living your highest and best self. There are going to be those who during this time of Aries act very selfishly and in their own self-interest. It doesn't have to kick in your survival lesson. There's going to be enough people who are thinking unity and thinking of others that it can balance that out. But don't be afraid that you can't see the bright future that's through these veils. We're still in Pisces right now as I'm doing that. We still have Mercury in Pisces. There are veils galore still, and that's okay. That bright future is there, even though you cannot see it. Believe that. Hold that energy. All right, so that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. I am doing my 20 to 20 sale. I haven't done that for a really long time, but if you just need to connect, have a little reassurance, 
I think connections are really important at this time. Reach out, email me, and we'll get that set up. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. I promise you. There is more than enough love in the world for you. I promise you that. And in this case, the love may be toilet paper. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm getting weird faces over there. Um, better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. And you do have the power. Namaste.